Hello everyone, I'm Data from JGX and here we are with another Mac review. Today we will talk about the Blood Asp. And before we get started, as usual, I'll remind you, if you haven't done that yet, to hit subscribe to this channel and share the content with your friends. First, the hitboxes. Uh, the Blood Asp has pretty big side torsos. It, maybe you would be tempted to shoot the CT, but due to the fact that it is Clan XL, and that when you lose a side torso on a clan XL mech, basically the mech doesn't dissipate the heat anymore. Uh, if you shoot off a side torso, you either take off all of its weapons or its heat dissipation. So when you see a blood asp, you should always go for the side torsos. And you, so you either disarm it or you make it so hot that it is not a threat anymore. The other reason is that when you turn the BASP sideways, uh, those side torsos basically cannot be shielded in any way, so it's a very fragile mech. Agility. Uh, when the cauldron did the agility pass, basically there was sort of clan OP hysteria, so Mad Cats and Blood Asp got dunked in terms of agility. The agility is bad, very bad, for no reasons. Like, this mech is not a tank. It is supposed to trade and peak, and it doesn't have the agility. Like, mechs like the Banshee, for example, uh, they have more defensive quirks, they are way tankier, they have offensive quirks, they also have a lot of agility. Mechs like the Banshee make sense with this level of agility and there would have been no problem whatsoever rising like the agility of the 90 tonners to this sort of level, like Banshee level of agility and uh, 100 tonners to Marauder 2 level of agility. Like the way I see it, this should have been the baseline of the agility that 100 tonners should have had, and the, this one should have been the agility that 90, 95 tonners should have had. But, just to cut it short, the bunch, the. Um, but, just to cut it short, the Blood Asp has terrible agility, terrible tankiness, and it also has the problem of lights hugging its legs. It, it cannot look down enough to shoot at them. As for the variants, uh, there aren't really variants that are better than other ones, so the Quirk Pass at least balanced the Blood Asps between each other. We will start from the Blood Asp B, which is the most common. Why the B? Because it has ECM in the CT without being forced with an extra jump jet, because the two tons jump jets for um, assaults are basically a minus. They are garbage useless, they weigh too much and they don't do anything. So you want to go without jump jet when possible. ECM in the CT is pretty okay. You can use the set of 8 to have a better ballistic cooldown to try to have the gas um, not impair with the large pulses in terms of cooldown, but at least closer. The way you use this mech is that you peek a boo with it. It's pretty efficient. Again, against tier 5 Papegas, this stuff is gonna work. So that's why this mech has his stats inflated in, uh, in the PGI stats. But against a half decent player, this mech is trash because it gets just chopped on the side torsos. And you either lose the Gauss side and you lose your ability to use four large poles because it doesn't dissipate heat anymore, or you lose the large pole side and you are left with the one gas. So this mech is good for farming Pepegas, pretty much. Uh, 
Another possible way to set it up is with ER large and goals, but again, ER large are basically useless because they got repeatedly nerfed and they basically, most of the maps don't have enough range to let you use this stuff properly and when you use it, you get jumped by a light in the back and insta stripped. So this just doesn't work. You can do it, but it just doesn't work. Uh, let's go to other ones. The A. The A is a nice set of eight for four PPCs, jump chat in the city and the side torsos. It gets some heat in the side torsos. It gets something out of the set of eight, range and velocity. With three jump jets, you can basically, you cannot pop tart because this kind of jump jets are pretty shit. Uh, but at least you can use those to get as a tool to get on things. It's just that it's six tons basically just to get on top of a building that's how bad class one jump jets are the mounts are pretty bad this is not an optimal one definitely it's i can see it working uh, but it's not optimal another way to set the b though is like this ultra fives and large pulses uh it doesn't have any quirks but it's pretty good farm machines if your opponents are brain dead. If your opponents are half smart, the, uh, the blood asp just falls apart. Let's go to another one, uh, the new one, blood asp E. This is the new one that came with the pack. It has center torso, radar deprivation and velocity. The point is, why should you use a blood asp that doesn't have ECM in the CT? So we gave quirks to the other blood asps that don't have ECM in the CT. What's new with this mech? Uh, the fact that it has two missiles per arm. So you could replace, if you put the E left arm, you could put another missile here, but I prefer having five heat with all of these missiles. It's already... Uh, big enough in terms of uh, in terms of learn boating, and um, and yeah, it just doesn't need more learns. It needs ammo and cooling. So to me, this is the perfect learning build at the moment. Uh, of course, ten velocity you can use it in another way because with a build like this, the problem is that you have heat scan weapons and velocity based weapons. So on fast moving targets. It's basically impossible because you need to aim into different ways. So velocity kind of mitigates the fact that ultra fives are too slow. Um, as an alternative, you could run PPCs, but the mech would become very, very, very hot. You can do that. That's not bad. It's just that against uh, bigger targets, this one is more efficient and one of the main problems is that due to the agility pass, most weapons are not fast enough. So you, I, I was tempted to say that this one is better against fast-moving targets, but the point is that now fast-moving targets are so over-buffed in terms of the agility that this velocity is not nearly enough to catch them. Next one, Blood Asp D. The Blood Asp D is interesting because of the heat dissipation. Now you may say, oh, heat dissipation OP. Uh, not really. It's just one extra, one and a half extra double heat sinks. Nice quirk, good for LPL boating, uh, but you should use a 2-2-1 two, two, and one or a macro. This is strong, but again, you don't have ECM. Now I'm going to show you how um, these mechs perform in a minute. And the C set of eight has good quirks for LBX bombing. It's just a mid-range LBX bomber because it doesn't have the tankiness to be a brawler. Now I'll show you uh, these builds, like how they work in terms of uh, heat efficiency, uh, how they handle. So I'll start from, let's say, the velocity, ultra five, LPL. Target destroyed. Heat 
Proceeding now with the hero one with the uh, five large poles. Again, five large poles. You can do it on the on the B. You can do it on the um, the one with heat dissipation that I just showed you before, or you can do it on the hero one to have five extra range instead of the dissipation. And that's it for today guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, if so remember to subscribe to my channel, share the content with your friends, I'll catch you guys next time.